points and accumulation points. So a point is said to be isolated in a set if there is an open set containing that point which contains no other points from S, no other points at all. So this is very much related to the idea of a deleted neighborhood. We can consider this to say that there is a non-empty deleted neighborhood, or sorry, an empty deleted neighborhood. So let's draw a picture in R1 to try to better understand this. Okay, so this is a real number line, and pretend we sort of have a, let's say, a closed set here going from 2 to 3, and then this single point over here located at 1. So all of the points between 2 and 3 here are all nice and close to each other, so we'd never want to call these ones isolated. But 1 is different from all the points between 2 and 3, right? It's apart from all of those. It's on its own. So 1 should be considered an isolated point. Let's see why according to the definition. So point X is said to be isolated in a set S if there is an open set containing X which contains no other points from S. So can we create an open set around that single point 1 that contains no other points from S? Notice that we certainly can just by going a little bit to the right and a little bit to the left from 1. So we've created an open set, an open interval around 1 that doesn't contain any other points from S other than 1 itself. Right? 1 is the only point from S that's contained inside of that red open set. Notice this wouldn't work for any of the points in 2 to 3, right? Any point there is automatically going to have other points because it's all shaded in from that set, from 2 to 3, from that interval. So what would we call it if we couldn't do this? That would be an accumulation point. A point X is said to be an accumulation point in S if every single open set containing X contains at least one other point from S, one other point different from X. So again, let's look at a set here, and let's see what it means. Actually, let's not even look at a set, let's just look at a point here. We'll put this point right here, and we'll say, what does it mean for this to be an accumulation point? Well, that means if I were to make an interval around it that was this large, then the set S, whatever the underlying set is, has to have at least one point inside of that interval different from that green point. So let's put it right here. We'll call that X1. Okay, but this is supposed to be universally true. It's for every open set. So if I make another open set that misses x1, what's true about that smaller interval that I've just created? Well, that smaller interval also has to have a point in it different from the green dot. So call that x2. But, again, universally quantified for every open set. So I can make another open set that goes around that green dot. And around that green dot, there has to be, if it's going to be an accumulation point, there has to be another point within that little interval, call it x3, that is not, that is different from the green dot. And so on and so forth, over and over and over again. So an equivalent definition of an accumulation point is that there exists a sequence that goes to the green dot. A uh, sequence of points different from the green dot that go towards the green dot. So these points, these blue dot, dots, all have to be within some kind of set for green to be an accumulation point of said set. So let's see this in an interesting example here. Imagine the set of natural numbers. The set of natural numbers has no accumulation points. All of the points of n are isolated. Can you see why? Well, if we consider a point like out here at n, let's make that a green dot, then there does exist an interval we can create around n that would contain no other points of n. Namely, we just have to make sure that it's skinny enough that it avoids n minus 1 and n plus 1. So a good radius that we could give to this is maybe 1 half. If we go half a unit above n and half a unit below n, we would not hit any other natural points. So to show that n has no accumulation points, that all of the points are isolated, we could approach a proof just by saying, let n be any old natural number, consider the open interval that goes from n minus one half to n plus one half. This interval, this interval contains no other points from n. So this interval, what that interval shows is that so n since we have an interval that contains no other points from n other than itself, that means that this n is isolated.
because we have found a set around it, an open interval around it that contains no other points. And of course, that's for an arbitrary n, and therefore n has no accumulation points whatsoever.